This is our tutorial for probability. Um, it's an intro to probability. Please take these notes down um, and let's get started. Let's talk about probability. Uh, probability is the chance or likelihood that an event will have a favorable outcome on a scale from zero to one. So zero being impossible. Um, and we'll represent this not just as uh, the top one will be a fraction, then zero is the same as zero as a decimal and zero percent as a percent. Uh, going further, becoming more likely, but um, so impossible will never happen. Unlikely, maybe it has a quarter um, chance of happening. So that would be 0 0.25 as a decimal and 25% as a percentage and then getting closer to um, likely to happen we have 50 50 or equally likely to happen or not that's halfway so could happen could not um, you don't know it's a flip of a coin uh, that'd be one half and that's 0 0.5 as a decimal or 50 percent as a percentage likely to happen is getting to be uh, three quarters and that's 0 0.75 as a decimal and 75% as a percentage. Then furthest to the uh, right here we have certain. Um, you know it's going to happen. There's no doubt to it. That'd be a one um, and that's 1.0 as a decimal and 100% as a percentage. And for probability, we're going between 0 and 1. So we're going to write this out uh, to find the probability of a favorable outcome when all possible outcomes are equal, um, are equally likely. We can say that it looks like this notation. Probability of favorable outcome to happen, or probability of our event happening, is going to be the number of favorable outcomes, so the number of favorable outcomes, divided by the number of possible outcomes. And we'll, uh, and we'll be represented as a fraction at first. So let's, let's see what that looks like and try some examples. Our first example, you roll a fair, meaning equally likely to happen any number, um, six-sided die. What is the probability that you roll greater than a four? So the probability of greater than a four, uh, that's the notation here, that's probability of uh, greater than a four, is going to be the number of favorable outcomes. So on a dice, the favorable outcomes, if you're trying to go f greater than a four, are going to be five and six. That's two. Uh, favorable outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. And on a dice, a six-sided dice would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So six possible outcomes. So two over six. Uh, you please, whenever you look at these, um, simplify your fractions so you can see that two and six are divisible by two. So I get two divided by two becomes one and six divided by two becomes three. I get one third as my probability. Um, if you look back at uh, our uh, one third would be right around here. Um, that's fairly unlikely to happen. But um, let's get back to where we were at. So one third and one third is the same as 0 0.3 repeating and 33.3%. Uh, now, <clears throat> let's try another example uh, to show once again that it's just the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So, that is at a car dealership. Um, they are randomly, that means uh, equally likely to give any um, selecting a vehicle 
to test drive. And out of those vehicles, there are 13 trucks, six, eight vans, and four compact cars. What is the probability he test drives a compact car? So the probability of a compact car, that's written like this notation, probability of a compact car is the number of favorable outcomes, so that'd be the number of compact cars, divided by the number of possible outcomes. So if they're choosing these vehicles at random, there's 13 plus 8 plus 4 possible vehicles to choose from. So on the top we have four compact cars, and on the bottom we have 13 plus 8 plus 4, because that's the total number of possible vehicles. Um, and then you end up with 4 over 25, because 13 plus 8 is 21, plus 4 is 25. So 4 over 25 is your fraction, you can also change those into decimals or percents. Uh, please be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and let me know if you have any questions on this. There is a uh, following um, Khan Academy for, uh, for you to try some exercise.